Big Show, presented by Seat77.com. As always, Dave Dubai is coming to you live from the Super Plus Seat 77 broadcast studio in the heart of Silicon Valley. Now, Dave Dubai. Good afternoon, North America. This is the Dave DeBaugh Show, and I am Dave DeBaugh. Oh boy, producer Buck, it is Monday. Ah, and it is a huge show here on the Dave DeBaugh Big Show. Uh, this is producer Buck, week number four. <clears throat> okay, so let me tell everybody what we have for you today. The National Football League is investigating the Gronk party cruise. Phil Jackson has officially lost it. Tom Brady, breaking news, scores a two-year extension. J.R. Smith typically and continues to be not happy with the Cavs' performance and their loss to the Washington Bullets. And we have some of your ballpark promotion ideas. All of that and more on today's uh, super big show. Okay, so <laughs> producer Buck wants me to remind everybody info at seat77.com. We want to hear from you, North America, and we are blowing up on iTunes. So make sure you subscribe to the big iTunes channel when you have a chance. Okay, so producer Buck, I thought we would actually kick today's show off um, by talking a little bit about the <laughs> Academy Awards, uh, the Oscars, if you will, which which aired last night. I believe some of the lowest ratings in the last 10 years uh, for the Oscars. Um, maybe the boycott had some effect on the actual telecast. Um, do you have the uh, Chris Rock uh, kind of portion of the opening all queued up? Okay, go ahead and, read, go ahead and run the Chris Rock opening. I'm here at the Academy Awards. Uh, I'll otherwise known as the uh, White People's Choice Awards. We want opportunity. We want the black actors to get the same opportunities. So Chris did um, did a really good job in his uh, in his opening monologue addressing the elephant in the room, the issue of diversity and the the fact that there were no a black nominees for any of the acting uh, categories, um, the major acting categories that were uh, available. Um, in addition to that, I thought Chris did uh, an excellent job of also addressing how ridiculous the actual boycott was. This idea that um, Will Smith and Spike Lee are going to be boycotting the Academy Awards um, over diversity in 2016 seems a little bit ridiculous. Look, I think straight out of Compton um, got completely robbed. There were fantastic acting performances in that movie. The fact that straight out of Compton wasn't actually nominated for Best Picture flat out blew me away. Um, by far the best movie that I saw in 2015. Look, I don't know uh, what exactly happens. Uh, I don't know exactly how they figure out what um, films get nominated and which films don't get nominated. My guess is, though, Producer Buck, the issue is with the people that are actually handing the nominations. I think it's like there's six or 7,000 people that get to vote. And my guess is, is that there's an issue in the diversity of the people that are actually getting uh, the opportunity uh, to vote, and I think they probably just missed how fantastic Straight Out of Compton was. <laughs> that being said, Chris Rock had a, had a, actually did a really good job. If I had to rate him, I'd give him like a B plus. Um, producer Buck for his performance. One of my favorite lines though, he's coming back from a commercial break, and and he said, "Welcome black." <laughs> so I thought that was good. The whole Girl Scout cookie thing was just okay, um, and probably a, a little bit. Uh, overblown. Anyways, we want to know what you think, North America. Info at seat77.com. Tell us what you thought of the Academy Awards. Did Chris Rock do a good job? Was the diversity thing correct? Um, how do you think he handled it? You tell us what you think. 
North America. Okay, so um, lots to uh, run through today on today's Super Big Show. The Rob Gronkowski party cruise gambling cruise is now under an, an, under investigation from the National Football League. Look, <laughs> I don't know. Is there too much money placed on a bingo bet? <laughs> I, I, I don't know what this investigation is actually about. I think this is yet another example of the National Football League putting its head where it doesn't belong. It is a Norwegian cruise line ship. There is a National Football League player off season on a cruise ship with gambling. <laughs> How many National Football League players have been to Vegas since the end of the season? What exactly could the National Football League possibly be investigating on this gambling cruise ship? I don't know. Was there some unlawful bingo bets that, that went down in that one? Okay, breaking news. Breaking news here on the Dave DeBot Big Show. Josh Norman looks like he is about to be franchise tagged by the Carolina Panthers. Um, that will either happen in the next day or two, according to this latest report. Uh, Josh Norman is about to become an extremely rich man, North America. Okay, so I'm not sure if anybody had a chance to check out the high performance game that the Cleveland Cavaliers decided to not put on last night as they lost to the Washington Wizards, the 28 and 30 Washington Wizards. So the Wizards are no slouch. <laughs> I like to call them the Bullets because that's really what their name is. The Washington Bullets beat, what was the score on that? 113 to 99. J.R. Smith, not happy with the Cavs' performance and came out after the game and he said all sorts of different things. Kyrie Irving wasn't happy that Tyron Lue pulled him out of the game and didn't put him back in. Um, there's all sorts of uh, issues with the Cavs. Here's the bottom line. Here's what happened last night. I have it for you exclusively on the Dave DeBall Big Show. <laughs> LeBron James didn't play. I mean, that's really what it comes down to. LeBron James had the night off. <laughs> At that and the Cleveland Cavaliers were heartbroken after what happened to them in Toronto as the Raptors took a little piece of their heart away uh, when they came back and beat the Cavs over the <laughs> weekend. Uh, it's pretty funny to watch the these kind of like, you know, post all-star season, post all-star game uh, implosions that go on in the National Basketball Association. Just trust me on this. The Cleveland Cavaliers will be the representatives from the East in the NBA Finals. The question is, will Kevin Love show up? Will he be available um, for the Finals? If he is, the Cavs, and I will hold to this, have a fantastic chance at winning it all. North America. Okay. Okay. Um, so info at seed77.com. We want to hear from you in North America. Send us your emails. Um, one other quick story for everybody today on the Dave Deba Big Show for a um uh for a Monday. Gosh, it's Monday, producer Buck. This is week number four. Um, super excited. The show's doing really well. So um subscribe to the iTunes channel when you have a chance. Um, actually, we lied to you. <laughs> Two stories for you. First of all, Tom Brady has signed his or is about to sign a two-year extension. Look, um, Tom uh, is 38 years old. He threw basically five TDs for every interception that he threw last year. That's like light years ahead of what John Elway did, Warren Moon, and Peyton Manning did. But all of those three... When they were 38, Producer Buck, do you know they were two for one touchdowns to quarterback ratios? And you can't even look at what Peyton Manning did when he was 40. <laughs> it's just it, his numbers are, are the opposite. So can Tom Brady play until, his, until, until he's 40? I think absolutely. Um, if they can get some additional help on that offensive line, look for Brady to have yet another good year uh, next year. We want to know what you think, North America. Info at Seat77.com or tweet us at the Seat77 uh, uh, sports app uh, account 
on Twitter. You can also find Seed77 on Facebook. <laughs> uh, we're, we're blowing up. We're everywhere. Hey, this week, uh, looks like Producer Buck, uh, we might have a couple interviews a little later uh, in the week. I think we're going to be talking about the uh, National Football League Combine and uh, starting to look ahead to the Major League Baseball uh, season. All of that on the Dave DeBaugh Big Show a little later in the week. Okay, last story of the day has to go to Phil Jackson. <laughs> and you just, Phil has officially lost it. I, I've been saying this for months, but Phil has officially lost it. Here's what Phil had to say about Steph Curry. Never seen anything like S. Curry, question mark. Remind you of Chris Jackson, who had a short but brilliant run in the National Basketball Association. Look, Phil, comparing Chris Jackson, who later changed his name to Muhammad abdul Rauf, um, to today's Steph Curry is ridiculous. It's like comparing a Honda Civic to a Corvette, Phil. Ridiculous. We looked around the net to see what people thought of it. Uh, we pulled up a great tweet from Luke Davidson. Here's what Luke had to say. I didn't know it was possible to lose complete respect for you from a single post. Congrats. You did it. <laughs> Way to go, Phil. Way to lose what little audience you had left. Um, I can't wait for Phil Jackson's next tweet. Maybe in his next tweet, he'll compare Steph Curry to Carmelo Anthony. <laughs> Way to go, Phil. All right, um, so final uh, story of the day. Um, this comes from you, the listeners. Baseball Park promo ideas. We asked you on Friday's show as well as the big weekend show to send us your ideas, and some of you did. <laughs> send us more of your ideas, North America. We want to hear from you. Info at Seed77.com. Here's what we have for you so far. <laughs> Weatherman Day. I'm not really sure what that is. Socks Night. So everybody, first 10,000 people get socks. Uh, maybe one of my favorites, the Eli Manning Night. Um, this guy wrote in, take one of the shyest football players and give away t-shirts of his face. The Eli Manning Night. Uh, we've got the Oreo Cookie Night. Um, Bead Night. <laughs> I'm not really sure what that is. At the ballpark. And my personal favorite... Dirt bag night. This is where everybody gets a piece of dirt from the ballpark in a bag. <laughs> dirt bag night at the ballpark. Okay. Um, so send us your baseball promo ideas, North America, when you have a chance. We want to hear from you. Uh, listen, a short show, as we mentioned. Send us your emails, info at seat77.com. Subscribe to the big iTunes channel. It is, as producer Buck would want me to tell you, blowing up North America. Okay, so for the silent one, producer Buck, I'm Dave DeBaugh reminding you that not everyone can be a champion, but everyone can act like one, Cam. And good luck, North America. <laughs> <laughs>